Humans have known about the fireproof qualities of asbestos for thousands of years. It's no wonder, then, that there are references to asbestos in the Bible. Let's take a look on this episode of Asbestos Rewind. Was the burning bush actually asbestos? One of the most famous stories in the Bible is the book of Exodus, when Moses freed the enslaved people of Israel from the Egyptians. Moses was a Hebrew when the Pharaoh was out killing Hebrew boys, and so his mom hid baby Moses in a basket, and he was found by the Pharaoh's daughter and raised in the royal house. Years later, when Moses was a prince of Egypt, he saw an overseer attacking an enslaved worker and intervened. Moses ended up killing the overseer and fled to hide in the desert. As the Exodus story goes, while Moses was in the desert, he heard the voice of God for his first time. God told Moses to go free the people of Israel and went on to speak to Moses many more times. But the first time is famous for a particular reason. When Moses first hears the voice of God in Exodus, he sees a bush that is burning without being consumed by the flames. That miracle is how Moses realizes that he's speaking with the real God. A dry desert bush that didn't burn up in a fire might certainly look like a miracle, but is it possible that the reference is to something else? Like asbestos? Let's first rewind a minute and talk about what asbestos is exactly. Asbestos is the name for a group of rocks with incredible qualities like being fireproof. In fact, asbestos used to be called the miracle mineral. As far as the biblical miracle of the burning bush, what's interesting about asbestos is that it is fibrous. Asbestos rocks can pull apart into long fibers that can be spun into thread and even woven into fabric. One ancient name for asbestos was wool made of rock. And just like asbestos, thread and cloth made of asbestos is fireproof. In fact, one of the most common ancient uses of asbestos was as a wick to burn oil lamps, especially in religious temples with lanterns that had to be lit at all times. That's why many people have noted that the biblical bush that wouldn't burn sounds a bit like asbestos. Could the burning bush mentioned in the Bible be a reference to asbestos? The word used for bush in the Bible means bramble. A bramble is usually a rough, tangly, and often prickly shrub. Asbestos usually forms along with other minerals. Most asbestos mines are mixed with other types of rocks. Asbestos often looks like long white fibers, like a man's beard, and in nature, Asbestos can look like it's growing along a rock wall. In fact, the ancient Roman naturalist, Pliny the Elder, who created the oldest existing encyclopedia of the natural world, thought that asbestos was a plant. He described it as growing in the deserts of India, which were so hot that it developed the ability to resist fire. There is asbestos in India, but Pliny the Elder was wrong about asbestos being a plant. No wonder he did, though. Asbestos was made into cloth, and in those days, a lot of cloth was made from plants. Lenin was the most common thread and fabric used in the ancient world, and it was made from a tall plant known as flax. And the Roman name for asbestos cloth used by Pliny the Elder was vivum. Vivum means linen that is alive. So it makes sense that Pliny seemed to believe asbestos cloth was spun from a plant that was fireproof. Asbestos is the only rock that has such a fibrous nature. And if even careful historians like Pliny confused asbestos with a plant, is it possible that others unfamiliar with asbestos might have as well? Was the burning bush a Dictinus albus plant? Others have suggested that the burning bush was in fact a Dictinus albus plant, which grows in northern Africa and secretes oils that can burn quickly. If it ignites, it can burn in a flash without setting fire to the rest of the plant, like a bush that wasn't consumed. Whatever you believe about the Bible story of Moses and the burning bush may be more about faith than anything that historians can prove. But if the burning bush was asbestos, anyone standing in the vicinity of it had the risk of inhaling asbestos fibers. Fortunately, the Bible says that Moses hid his face from the burning bush. Most scholars interpret this as Moses not feeling worthy to witness an earthly representation of the Creator. But if the bush was actually a burning outgrowth of asbestos mineral fibers, it might also have helped Moses avoid breathing them in. Whatever the burning bush was, the idea of something that can burn and burn and not be consumed does seem like a miracle. So it's no wonder that asbestos was seen, even in biblical times, as almost supernatural.
We'll talk more about that next time on part two of our Asbestos in the Bible series and learn about asbestos in the New Testament. Thanks for watching Asbestos Rewind. 